What's up, YouTube? Uh, normally, I'm talking about stocks and whatnot, uh, but this kind of pertains. So I, I just saw news that, like, the meeting with Biden and Kevin McCarthy was postponed. And it's just like, America is waiting. The world is waiting. You know, Congress is waiting. Senators are waiting. What What, what is... What is going on here? And it and I'm gonna I'm gonna break it down for you real quick. I'm just a little disgusted because we've seen this so many times in the last in the last. This seems to really have been picking up in the last three years. And I don't know if it's just me noticing this. Hopefully not. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments. But sun setting. What 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 is gonna happen here is they are going to leave this. See this duck. They're gonna leave this for the 11th hour, okay? Uh, meaning the last minute. They're gonna push this to the last minute, and this uh, this agreement about the debt ceiling, and then, lo and behold, they'll have some agreement that all of Congress is gonna have 12 hours or 24 hours to look over some massive bill they're going to sneak a bunch of garbage in there that has nothing to do with the debt ceiling at all. Okay? Just like the omnibus bill and other bills before it in the last three years. Emergency bills and this and that and emergency aid packages and all this garbage. And Congress, instead of doing what is right, which would be to say, no, we need time to actually read this, which could take weeks. Okay? Days or weeks. They're going to do... Uh, or, or even just saying flat out, uh, no, I'm not signing that because that's not fair to the American people or the world because trade heavily flows through America for a lot of countries. Um, they're going to just sign it. And then they're going to complain afterwards as if they've done their job, as if, as if they've upheld their oath to the American public. Um, be, oh, well, we had to sign it. You know the, do you know the consequ consequences? Yeah, well, the consequences of signing crap that you don't know what you're signing are far worse than the consequences of waiting a few extra days and, and, and making sure whatever it is you're signing isn't that you're signing your life away. Okay? Uh, I think everyone could agree on that nine times out of ten. I mean, if someone's got a gun to your head and they're telling you, sign this, it's probably... Uh, not in your best interest to sign something and that's what's gonna happen. That's exactly what's gonna happen uh, they're, they're gonna be forced into signing something and instead of doing the right thing and saying no, I won't do that They're gonna just go ahead and do it anyways, and again, they'll complain and Nothing will ma it won't matter. It'll be too late because it'll be a bunch of signed Documents from members of Congress that didn't do any any work they spent all this time going back and forth and back and forth. And then Biden and the Democrats are going to plop something on the table and force them to sign it. And it's just like Kevin McCarthy getting in. Any blowback that they see, eventually they concede. They just concede. They put him up like 13 times. And they said no 12 times. No, we don't want him. No, 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 no. Okay, fine. Yes, fine. The American people need us to move forward. No, we we need you to do your job and have a spine and have a backbone and 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 be ethical and be moral and uh, look out for the people's interests. That's what that's what they need from you. They don't need you writing laws and bills and then trading stocks <laughs> based on those decisions, right? Uh, do you know? But borderline borderline uh, criminal behavior and activity. We we don't need that kind of stuff. So. The meeting was supposed to be tomorrow, okay? So the stock market has been behaving pretty oddly all day uh, and all week for that matter. And all month really for that matter, right? We've had a lot of crazy stuff going on. And uh, now we have to wait even further. We have to wait until next week, which again, that's not going to change until they start doing their actual jobs. When, when you have Biden come out to the press after 12 minutes or whatever it was 10 minutes 
yesterday or sorry was it yesterday yeah yesterday wednesday and say yeah had an okay meeting with uh with kevin there on, on the bill uh we need we need to have another meeting and we won't be taking any questions and then drunkenly walks away like he always does what what are you solving here what are you guys doing <laughs> like it makes me so frustrated and so angry i don't know hopefully this video reaches more than a one or two hundred people Ho hopefully we can get everyday people out there talking about this kind of stuff i know if, I, if this was on tiktok it would probably circulate uh, but i don't really use tiktok i i use youtube maybe i need to start you know it, it ain't no one's talking about banning it in Canada. Not yet anyways, because I'm sure I'm sure that's not above Trudeau and the uh, Liberal Party to uh, up and ban ways of communicating. I mean, they got Bill C-11, so if you don't know what that is, it's basically a censorship bill to override freedom of speech, protected speech. <laughs> so, and they just passed it. Out of nowhere, out of the blue, uh, I don't even know how it got unilateral support, but the thing is, is I think at the end of the day, guys, the reason so much stuff gets unilateral support is because everybody is bought and paid for. And that's why Trump was such a problem. Love him or hate him, the guy wasn't bought and paid for and didn't need a dime from anyone. Didn't take a dime of his pay as president remains rich to this day that you know they try and they try to break this guy whereas you have Trudeau becoming one of the richest politicians ever for Canada you have the Biden family being worth tens I think even hundreds of million dollars at this point what what <laughs> how why public servants being worth hundreds of millions of dollars? What planet is this? What is going on? You know, it's going down a crapshoot real quick. Uh, all of all the stuff that's been done and passed in the last few years under under no watchful eyes. You know that when that Omni bill passed, I was disgusted. The math didn't even check out, guys. You would have had to have read something stupid like. Like 30 pages a minute or some bullshit. Like 30 pages a minute. I don't remember what, exactly what it was. So, you know, if this gets flagged or whatever, just do the math yourselves. It, it was not like, it wasn't like, okay, a page a minute, which even that is too much. It's legal text and legal jargon. Even a page a minute would have been too much. But it wasn't even that because it was someone showed it on like a on like a rollout desk and it was like stacks and stacks of legal paper and it was you know trillion dollar what was it 1.6 trillion or 2 trillion or some garbage and they passed it they passed it anyways well that's kind of a cool shot they passed it they friggin passed it and they're going to do the exact same with this debt ceiling if what America needs is for them to not raise it and do cuts, that's what they need to do. But instead, what are they going to do? Take out another credit card. Raise the debt. Hey, our credit card's maxed. What should we do? Let's take out another one. And we'll use it to pay the first one. And Biden will go, oh, that's a good idea. And we could actually, we could max that too and send even more money to Ukraine. Meanwhile, our own border... It's literally got 6 million people plowing through it now in the last 24 hours. Like, how is America this asleep to what the hell is going on in their own country? And why do they think it only affects them? This is the, like, the problem and the danger that I feel. Everything you guys are doing, if you become weaker, if America becomes weaker, and I'm Canadian and we're your allies and we rely on each other for protection... And believe me, we do. We, we're NATO, okay? Um, you rely on our, on our uh, observation and our warnings and things as well, just as much as we might rely on your military might. If you're weakened, we're weakened, okay? And you guys are severely handicapped right now, I think. Very weakened. 
you've got a leader at the helm with his head cut off because he doesn't have a brain to stand on. So, or legs to stand on or a, or a brain to keep him moving. You know what I mean? He's like a, he's definitely a marionette dog, guys. And that is exactly, if in the, in the history books, it, or the digital history books <laughs> in the future, uh, it, when you look up Joe Biden, it's going to be a marionette doll. And it's going to be him going, dancing, you know, because who the hell is pulling the strings at this point? It sure isn't that guy. I, I had to get that off my chest. Um, I just, I, I, that's all off the cusp. One take had to be said. Hopefully my channel doesn't get wrecked on that. Like, it seems like every time you have any sort of opinion at all anymore, it's like it's, it's like it's word of God or something, and then, and then the fact checkers come out, and then, you know, the suspensions come out, and all that stuff. So you really got to worry. But being, si being silent to me is, is worse than potentially facing consequences that might come as a result. And I don't think there should be consequences for people speaking from their heart, telling people that they're concerned or worried, asking for people in positions of government to do their job stand up and do their job for people i don't think that should be something that gets punished uh that should be something that you know gets recognized and, and is taken seriously and is taken a heart that someone might actually care that much to spend 12 minutes of their life to to try to talk about something like a uh omnibus bill or like a a, a debt ceiling as a citizen not not as someone who stands to benefit or or be hurt you know like I don't I don't I don't have any special interests uh, that would that would sway my opinion here you know only the only people that do are the ones that are sitting around deciding these things so hopefully guys hopefully we have something sorted out I believe they have until June and we are two weeks. I don't know what the hell yellow, yellow thing is on my face there. I know we have two weeks here left. Two weeks. And they have left it this far. So. Hopefully they hopefully they don't 11 hour, 11th hour this. My God. They need to get something out Monday. That Congress and Senators and whatnot can look at it for at least the next two weeks. So they have the full two weeks or a week to review it, a week to review it, and then a week to make amendments, and then finally ink something. Guys, please, we need to pray to God that they, that this is what happens, and, and they don't try to screw everybody last minute free.